The world around has so much to offer, but it gives nothing to a mind that has shot itself in the dark. I took the same journey from my hometown to Bangalore a few years ago. I was leaving home for the first time for my first job and I stayed in the city until the pandemic sent me back. During the five years I was in Bangalore, I didn't give myself the chance to truly explore and experience the place. I was just a few steps away from embracing everything the city has to offer. But I preferred the space and silence within the four walls, mistaking it for comfort and peace, while in truth it was a self-imposed confinement. But I believe this visit back to Bangalore is going to be different. Even though it will be a short stay, I am hopeful and confident that, unlike my first visit, I will make it count this time. Airports have a different ambience and vibe. The architecture, enormity of the space, the beauty in the whole as well as in the fragments, the twists and surprises the journey has in store for some of the people here. Airports are happening places. Airports are bliss. past, we're also looking back at our own selves from the same time. All such places act like mirrors that help us witness how different we are in the present. I feel I have moved on from the person I was back then. I threw him into an imaginary rocket and shot him off the earth into somewhere far and away. Never come back again. I warned him. But did I really say goodbye to him? This trip will give me the answer. It has been a few days since I reached Bangalore and this place has already given me moments of joy and happiness. This is where I pause this conversation for now, at just the beginning of what I think is going to be a long conversation. This gives me an exposure. I meet people, I see various arts. Yeah. It gives me a good, it gives me a good feeling and people appreciate your work. <laughs> 